Oh, hey there, I'm Carly, and I'm just wondering if I should eat this berry. Oh, or these ones. Or how about these ones? And this berry? What about this berry? What about this berry? Or how about these ones? Hello, nature nerds, I'm Carly, and I originally shot this video two years ago, and I stopped production because I just wanted to make sure that I drove home the message that um, you should almost never be trying berries that you don't know. But I decided to put this video out here now. So here goes. How to tell if a berry is poisonous. Um, the first thing is that you can't really. There are some general rules for finding out if a berry is poisonous, but for the most part, those rules all have exceptions. And that's what makes it so hard and what makes it so dangerous to be going around trying berries that you don't know. The only situation where you're going to want to try a berry that you don't know is in a survival situation where you've taken care of the other needs first. So you're going to die of exposure or thirst before you die of hunger. You can actually last 30 days without eating, but by 30 days you're going to be significantly weakened and it'll be harder to keep warm and um, find safety. But you should always worry about finding yourself a shelter, if possible a fire, and clean water before you you start worrying about food. If you found those things and you're getting hungry to a point that you feel like you're going to get too weak to survive, then it's time to hunt for food. And berries make an excellent choice because they're often very plentiful and um, they're fairly high in energy and you don't need to catch or hunt them. But um, some are very poisonous and will kill you and we don't want you dying. The good news is that the deadly poisonous ones um, are actually less common than you might think. Your best bet for knowing what to eat in a survival situation is to go and learn your plants now. Learn the most edible ones and learn the most poisonous ones in your area. And if you're doing anything edible plant related, it's always a good idea to say to make sure that multiple reliable sources are saying the same thing. First of all, I'm going to give you a rundown of um, some of nature's most reliably edible plants. And I'm also going to write a blog post about this. I have a video on this too. You can check that out up here on the card. The first one is Janus vaccinium. That will include your blueberries, your huckleberries, your cranberries. Another super edible genus is the rubus, which I am surrounded by. The raspberries are probably the most famous rubus berries. And they aren't actually berries. They're actually called... Um, conglomerates of drupules, but since they're little and berry colors, we just call them berries for the sake of easiness. So most famous among these are probably raspberries and blackberries, but they'll also include salmon berries, thimble berries, cloud berries, dew berries. <laughs> the other, another really edible one is strawberries. They all look like strawberries. Wild varieties are usually smaller. There is a species called false strawberry, but Latin will be down here. And they are tasteless, but edible. Um, and the last one I want to talk about is the genus Ribes, and that includes gooseberries and currants. Um, the berries are green or red or blue or black, so they vary largely in color, they vary largely in size. The leaves are usually about yay big, resembling maple leaves, but with rounder edges. Yeah, so those are the most edible. Now let's just talk very briefly about the most poisonous, and I'm actually going to put this in a blog post because I think it's the kind of information that lends itself better for writing. I'm just going to list them off on my phone because I'll probably forget some. First one, you. They're not actually berries, but they look like berries. Bane berry, they are red or white. A lily of the valley berries, European spindle berries, holly. Yes, those festive Christmas plants. Speaking of festi festive Christmas plants, European mistletoe. American mistletoe is actually not quite as poisonous, but um, still don't eat them. Any plants in the Daphne genus, pokeberry, deadly nightshade. Deadly nightshade isn't actually a nightshade. Um, nightshades are the Solanum genus, and um, they they do include such favorites as eggplant and peppers and tomatoes and potato. Um, but if they're not cultivated, they're probably poisonous. You also shouldn't eat potato berries. But that's all I have written down. There are very, 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 very likely more. Okay, let's do some general tips. 
I say guidelines, not rules, because there are a whole lot of exceptions. Um, so avoid plants with red stems. Avoid fruits that are divided into parts of five. Avoid anything that smells like peaches or almonds, unless they are peaches or almonds. Avoid hairy fruit. <laughs> Avoid hairy berries because those little hairs can irritate the throat and the, the digestive system and um, also any big seeds in a berry spit them out because sometimes the seeds will contain toxins anything overripe or underripe something like elderberries for example are poisonous when they are underripe but edible when they are ripe and cooked anything that tastes really bad that's nature's way of telling you not to eat it and avoid white berries. Some other things to remember, just because the little birdies or other animals are eating them does not mean that they are human food. Um, they, ha birds and other animals can have um, resistance to certain toxins. Just because one part of the plant is edible doesn't mean all the parts of the plants are edible. And last, don't bother testing out any berries unless there are a lot of them, because there's not much point to putting yourself in danger for a small snack, right? So. What if you find a berry and you think it might be edible? Here's what you do. I found this mystery berry right here. I wonder if it's edible. Hmm. Crush it and give it a smell. You smell almonds or peaches or any kind of unpleasant smell. Ditch it. So your first step is going to be a skin sensitivity test. So you crush a little bit and you find a nice sensitive part of your body. Any underside of your arm is a nice place. So I'm going to put it in the crook of my elbow and close that up. And I'm going to hold it there for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to wait an entire eight hours after that to see if there's any redness or rash that comes. I'm not going to eat any more of it if it, if it creates a rash. After you've tested that, if you have the means, you can go ahead and cook it because that can often make them more edible. Um, and then it's time to put it in your mouth. So I'm going to put a small amount in my mouth, wait 15 minutes, Then if nothing bad happens, you chew it for 15 minutes, and if nothing bad happens then, then you swallow it. Mm -hmm. And then you wait 5 hours, and you're looking for such signs as an upset stomach, diarrhea, nausea, dizzy, dizziness, um, shortness of breath slowing or speeding up of the heart, seizures, muscle twitches, any kind of uncomfortable weird body thing. And if that ha doesn't happen then you have probably not found a deathly poisonous ones but you might have a mildly poisonous plant so you're not done yet, it's not safe yet. What you want to do is take a small handful or a quarter cup of berries Mm -hmm. Wait another five hours and if you're fine they're safe to eat but don't go crazy just yet because large amounts of any new food can cause an upset stomach and there still could be some mild toxins in those berries. So that edibility test will actually work for any plant so I know that's a long process it's really better to be safe than sorry. Hopefully you're not to a point in your starvation that you can't wait a day. So that's all I have to say about poisonous berries. Um, I do have an exciting announcement, at least exciting to me. I'm writing an e-course right now on plant identification, how to teach yourself how to identify plants. So it'll be go good, um, useful for anyone living in any temperate region in the Northern Hemisphere. There will be a link to a survey below where you can answer a few questions just to help guide me in the writing of that. And there'll also be a spot for um, leaving your email, then that will get you on the mailing list where um, you will get some updates on cool things happening in the channel. I won't send, it, send out updates very often because I don't want to spam you. And it will also get you into a contest for the amazing camp chair and the um, straps for it made by Econo Challenge. So a link to the blog post on most poisonous and edible plants are up here. A link to a video on the most edible plants is here. You can subscribe to me here and you can check out some more information on the amazing camp chair right here. I think that's it. So happy nature nerding.